Dear Ranka, I am here listening deeply, moving slowly, preparing diligently, and growing, learning. This house arrest feels very different from the romanticized version of self-imposed isolation I longed for just a few weeks ago. Boris has announced that London is on lockdown immediately. I find myself increasingly on the inside of these passing days. That flu that I caught out of nowhere two weeks ago, I didn't think twice about it. Ginger, garlic, turmeric, rest, repeat. While yesterday, my right tonsil began to ache and I was enveloped immediately in the wretched arms of panic. Reading, conceptualizing and dreaming feels weighted now, like my chest underwater. And I am telling myself that it's all psychosomatic. There is nothing the matter. I don't have a cough or a fever or breathing difficulties right now. This moment demands differently of my watery self, Ranka. I have been in my tiny forest cottage for the past few days under house arrest. We're running out of food, but I can't bring myself to go to the shops. I'm paralyzed by fear. I've chosen to spring clean instead and cook lengthy meals. I tried to do the grocery shopping online. The deliveries were booked up to six weeks from today, Ranka. People are panic shopping and apparently there is not enough in the stores for the elderly and most vulnerable. That's what the news keeps telling us. I don't know for sure because I can't bring myself to go outside. I remember when I went last week, there was no hand sanitizer, no tissue paper, no antibacterial wipes. I feel the way I feel when I'm on the pin edge of decision making, except there is no decision to make and all my engagements are no longer. Just like that, I'm reminded that death also comes just like that. People are dying, Ronka. In the hundreds and thousands, people are dying all over the world and always have and always will. I chose to have children in this time. Now my children are 15 and 11 and I, I am navigating hostile waters here in these waters where I am the one who chose to be. To be with my doubts and my fears, watching them fall away from me like the leaves of grandmother oak, feeling exposed without them in the forest, deep in without the forest without. It's a funny thing about life, isn't it, Ronka? With this new development, it cuts small scars into my hope. I tell myself it is a choice I choose to continue to make while these vulnerabilities swim puddles around my feet in which I soak. I don't know the names of the trees just outside my window in the forest, but I do know they are my salvation.